In this video, you will learn how to install Docker and Docker Compose. So first of all, we need to add... Uh, we are working on Cent OS 8, by the way. In this case, first thing we need to do is to, to add the, the repo, which contains the Docker. And then we verify with DNF, repo list minus version and now we're going to list all of the docker repo available the docker uh, versions uh, if you want to know which ver versions are available but if you want to install the latest one here you got the, the command we say yes again yes like next 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 finally we check out if it's already installed yes and now as for the docker compose we need to do the following according to the documentation you can see for mac windows and linux you see here the the current uh, version is 1.25.4 if you want to check it out, you can go to the latest one, 25.4, here in the GitHub page uh, website. RC stands for release candidate. So this might look like the, this stable one. So we, we're going to install it with curl, that is it, but first of all, I want to go home because if it's installed somewhere else, maybe it might be a mess. So I hit enter. And we make it executable. And then we move it to the executable folders. Compose, dash dash version. Yes, it is already installed. And now we're going to enable. So now Docker must be now up and running. And yes, we got now Docker Docker service up and running. After installing uh, Docker on Cent OS 8, um, what we need to do additionally is to configure the firewall because otherwise you will get many errors. Um, about uh, communicating between or among the, your containers. We're going to, to follow these steps. I have already tested this, so I'm going to show you what I did. So this is the question uh, that helped me out, not network connectivity. As this answer says by Massey, First, we need to check what interface Docker is using. Uh, what we need to get is this value. So we apply IP space link show. So this is what I did. IP link show. And yes, we found that the Docker in Docker's interface is called Docker zero, right? Now we are going to check um, the active zones that the firewall has set up. So we apply this command. So firewall dash cmd dash dash get dash zone dash of dash interface equals docker zero. And <clears throat> it will show that docker has no zone. And in order to give, uh, to allow, we have actually made this. And now we're going to add docker zero interface to the public zone with this command. And after that, we make a reload of the rules. So we finally get that the docker zero has the public zone. And as an additional step, that it is required is a masquerading allows for docker ingress and egress which we have already applied i should tell you that i have not applied this 
443. I have not done that. In my case, it was unnecessary. So finally, I did reload and Docker restart. That was pretty much it.